another day, another battery. Let's look at this battery that we have on the bench over here. Okay, this battery right here is different than anything that I've been showing to you guys on this channel. It is a pretty awesome battery. It comes like this. And there's two sizes. There's the little one right here. And then there's the big one. And the big one is 881 watt hours, 43 volts, 20 amp hours. And then the little one is 296 watt hours, 43 volts, 6.7 amp hours. And I absolutely have no idea where they come from. They got this little clip here and then this connector here. I don't know, these are the balance leads, and but I don't think they are. Uh, here is what it looks like when they are naked. And so they do have a big IC here, which means, and then it's just an assortment of I don't know, fuses or transistors? No, those are not transistors. Resistors? Maybe this is a, yeah, it, this looks maybe like it's a resistor. So, which means that this does its own balancing maybe on board, right? Now, this is likely to be proprietary and we might not be able to get into them and there don't seem to be enough. I mean, we had like a, two truckloads, you know, 80,000 pounds or 40, even 40,000 pounds. I'd say, let's try to figure this out. Let's send it, you know, I would send it to my friends that would, you know, try to reverse engineer and see if we, how we can do it so that we can reuse this, right? Use the pack without modifying it. But this is an amazing pack. Uh, the build quality, it's pretty cool. So first things first, 43 volts, that means it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve S. I know all you e-bike people are probably going like, ah, why? I don't know why. Yes, it would be so much better if this was a 13S pack because I could sell this as a 48 volt battery pack for you guys, right? And it's 800 one hours. It's pretty light. It's got pretty amazing cells 35e's samson 35e's those are top of the line and here's a, a, another thing that is different than all the other battery packs that i've done before it's got its own heater this strip right here goes and touches all the cells it zigzags here and then here and then here and then here and then it comes out right here and this is the connector right here so this is the connector uh can i disconnect that let me see i think so i think i can disconnect it ah, well i can but we will uh i will do more experiments on this to see how much current it takes and just how warm it gets, right? And so this is pretty cool. I never had, and the little one has it too. See, it's right there. And here's the connector. So this is probably easier to disconnect. Oh yeah, there we go. It's easier to disconnect than that one. This is right there. So we'll, we'll do some experiments. I'll take these guys completely apart. Look at that, it's got uh, Torx uh, screws in there. These are pretty well engineered uh stuff in there and so they are pretty nice now what will we end up doing with them well i there's not enough of these ones for me to spend a lot of time on them right again like what i'm doing these days is i'm moving warehouse you know the hundreds <laughs> you know it's like i don't know fifty thousand pounds of uh, batteries a, a month or something you know so when something small comes like this and it's just a pallet, you know, it's like, well, these are great, amazing batteries, but I can't really um, justify spending a lot of time on these when I literally have <laughs> 10,000 of these stupid things, right? So I think my time is better spent. And by the way, th there's a whole lot more of these ones right here. So even though they're less attractive for a lot of stuff, 
for, uh, you know, that I just have a ton of batteries that are available for storage. And so I think I got to spend my time developing more projects in the storage, right? So these ones right here, well, you know, they're sad. We're just going to flip them. We're just going to, we got them in. Now we'll just, you know, I'll do my best to tell you what they are. Um, I could maybe, because see, here's the cool thing. Uh, all the bus bars are here, right? So it wouldn't be that hard to just desolder these. And I can get these dimensions. I can whip out uh, a PCB that you can just then resolder back in here. And it's got the connector for the balance leads on this side, and it's got the main input and output. And maybe we can even work out a connector for the circuit for the uh, the heater in here, because that is pretty cool. If you, you know, I don't know what these packs are for, but obviously they wanted them to be able to heat themselves, right? So that they can charge probably below freezing and so that's a cool thing that if you wanted to keep that in there then you can you can you would do it uh definitely this these have a lot of um potential so if you can use very high quality e35s right uh 35es samsung e35es in a 12s configuration and you don't mind maybe doing a bit of DIY, maybe taking a few screws, desoldering this board out, soldering a new one. I will uh, I will work on this tomorrow. I will take this apart and then um, make the, a new board, a breakout board, which is just, you know, maybe put like connectors in here so you can, like for power connectors and then the balance connectors. Maybe we can even, if you have, suggestion on a uh, bms you know i can look for a 12 s bms uh that is just i don't know 20 amps or something like that some some a 20 amp bms would probably fit in here we can work it into that board and then we can install it in there and so that when you put put it in there then it's a, a self pack you know but um let me see how much could this pack potentially push right so the 35 e's are at least two C's, so they can push at least seven amps, and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, this could push almost 40 amps. I, we could we could put a 40 amp BMS in here, and yeah, we'll, we'll push those cells. Those cells are not power cells. These are uh, usually the 35Es are, or the 35Es, yeah, are, um, they're energy dense cells, right? They're, they have 3,500 million powers in there, so they're pretty good. Um, but they could push seven of them, or six of them could push one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six could push uh, 40 amps, no problem. Uh, and so there we go. We'll, I'm gonna put them on the website. It, I think these are really good. I think they're gonna fly off and, you know, I won't have time to like do much with these, right? Because because the cells are pretty good. Just uh, getting them and just for harvesting the cells, right? Because these cells are. I, now here's here's the little thing that we do know is that these are new or not new, unused, right? And so they haven't been. They probably have zero cycles, so these cells are pretty premium. Maybe they're. Uh, I'll look at the thing in here. See, you can't easily see as the the date codes, right? I would have to take it apart or whatever. But uh, they're probably you know a year or two old. They probably the project that they were going to go into that didn't ha didn't happen, or I don't know what the deal is with these. But um, also. Our supplier says that maybe these can be had on a continuous basis, so maybe it's a project that it's not completely dead and that it's happening, but for some reason, they didn't end up using these ones right here, right? So there's a couple of hundred of these available about a pallet. Um, if you're interested in these, we will put them on our website. And uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd say you probably, we're not, I don't know the price yet. I'll do the math see how much I paid for them and stuff, but uh, I will not price them at a premium just so that they can fly out. I'm more interested in just making these available to you guys. 
uh, then squeeze every ounce of, uh, you know, profit off of any of these batteries. Because my, you know, my main market is these guys here. I have literally have 10,000 of these sitting in my warehouse. So those are the ones that I spend all my time and figure out how to do. Those are, you know, we're building power walls. We're building cars with those. We're building cool stuff. These ones are, you know, this is a good, you know, uh, yeah, you can build a power wall too. You buy a bunch of these, right? 800, it's almost a kilowatt hour here. And, uh, but, you know, these are probably best suited for e-bikes, uh, e-scooters, uh, some kind of like little motorcycle or something. You know, a couple of these, that's, you know, that's almost two kilowatt right there. You put three of those there, boom, three kilowatt. Now you're, you're, uh, you're going far. <laughs> and, you know, and then if you got, uh, you know, odd shapes and stuff, you can add these little ones, you know, different too, like, cause they're the same 12 ass, so you can parallel all this stuff, combinations of these guys. So anyways, there we go. Quick video tonight. Uh, thank you for all your support. We'll see you guys on the next one. Stay busy building projects with batteries. Uh, I will try my best to keep supplying you guys with the best stuff that I can find out there and trying to come up with projects so that we can use all this stuff, right? Instead of uh, throwing it away or sending it to, to China because this would otherwise end up in China and then they get all the value of this, right? Uh, and so why, why send all their value over there when we can use some of it too so there we go thank you for watching this we'll see you guys in the next one bye all right yeah sure enough it's super easy to just uh solder you know heat up the pads here and then they you lift the the little bus bars here right and then you just do all of those and boom this thing just comes right off right off so yeah we could definitely build a board that you can put in here and then you know you can put your own bms or you know all that stuff yeah that's pretty cool
All right, and I think that's it. We have it. I just finished uh, doing the holes here for the screws. Oh, there's another hole here. Huh, I'll have to check if we need that hole as a pin. Uh, but there's that one, this one, that one, and then there is this one. I know for sure we do need that as a, as a pin, and I did it right there. Now, when you uh, do go to the 3D, I couldn't figure out how to do an elongated hole. So what I ended up doing is just doing a cutout, right? And it shows it there, but it doesn't really show it as a hole. So if we do the 3D, the 2D one, it does show it kind of as a hole. You see that in there? It's just missing the thing. Now, yeah, let's just check to see if that other extra hole is needed. Well, what do you know? It does, it does need it. See right there? That's that little pin. That pin right there. And then there's another pin over there. So if you don't add it, then it won't, you'll have to cut that. I mean, it's not, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but since we're designing the board, why not just do it, right? Why not just uh, make it so that it goes right on there? I think the, the distances here are backwards, so just so what, when you're assembling this, it, you're, not, it's in, you're not capable of actually putting it backwards. See that? So nothing fits, none of these guys line up, and those pins literally do not let you do it, and the screw uh, placements are, they're not asymmetric, right? And that is a good, good way to, to prevent when you have people or even machines uh, assembling this sort of stuff in here. You just do not allow for them to make that mistake to put it backwards, right? And so you just do it by making it in such a way that it doesn't fit. So that's pretty smart design there. So let's do that one last little thing and then uh, we'll finish that design. We'll order a sample and then uh, that's it. <clears throat> All right, those batteries will be available at jack35.com and I will share the file as a project on uh, pcbway.com so that you can go and just order the PCB. Now, remember, it's my first iteration, so you, there might be some small adjustments needed for it, right? And if you have some ideas on how to put a BMS or some other, just be sure them in the comments and stuff. I do read all this stuff all the time and, uh, you know, we'll, 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 might be able to help the rest of us make a better battery pack using your ideas. Okay, thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.